Hi, and welcome to Faith into Greatness. Today, I wanted to talk about what happens when you get caught up with a firearm. You have a permit to carry this firearm, but you're in the wrong place at the wrong time with this thing, right? It's such a conundrum. You can carry the firearm here. You can carry the firearm there, but you can't carry the firearm here. But what happens if you're like en route somewhere and you can't drop off your firearm home? You can't leave the firearm in the car, right? Unattended. So then what do you do with your firearm? It leaves people in such a pickle. And is anybody thinking about this stuff? Anyway, I had a client who I met through church who asked for my assistance. He was a janitor in a school that his child attended. On one particular day, there was a fire drill. There's a fire alarm where there's a real bomb threat at the school. So everybody had to be evacuated. Before they allowed all the students back into the school, they checked everything. Well, he had left his gun in his holster, in his backpack, in his area. In his particular office where the door was closed and locked. When they went through the school to check everything before allowing everyone to return, they went through his bag and they found this gun. Well, of course, my client got in trouble, right? Anyway, it didn't really matter what he said. This thing hit the media like a storm. The parents were outraged. Oh, my God, there was a gun in the school. <sighs> right? So my client approaches me. He's like, I don't know what to do. I don't have money to hire a lawyer. I have a family. I can't lose my job. I have children. I have a wife to take care of. I need your help. He said, no problem. He said to me, I got to go meet with the school board. Can you come with me? I said, sure, I'll be there on Monday. I showed up. We met with the school board. I explained to the school board that this was an honest mistake. It's like, what do you do with the weapon? What do you do with the firearm? Just leave it home. This is something that many Nevadans are used to having on their person, right? On them. So it's a real conundrum. What do you do with your gun when you can't take it somewhere? Anyway, long story short, the parents were outraged, of course. They didn't want him staying at the school. Even though his kid went to the school, he would never hurt any a soul. So they moved him to another school, but he was still dealing with the, the drama of him bringing his gun into the other school. It was like they followed him right to the next school. Anyway, who knows why these things happen, but he's living a blessed life. I hope this message blesses everyone. If you find yourself in this pickle, this conundrum, maybe some legislators watching this and will make a change. I don't know. Hopefully there could be some sort of uniformity to the laws where they don't contradict one another in some way. I hope this message blesses everyone. Stay in prayer. God bless.